Hey, what's up, everybody? I have a book here. It's called Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning. And this book is an aggregation of some of the, some of the best empirical data and research on learning and development, at least at the time of writing, which was, I think, 2014 for this book. And the authors are Brown, Rodinger, and McDaniel. Um, I think a couple of them are Washington University in St. Louis uh, faculty members. And so I wanted a book that kind of reaffirmed my study habits, the way I've been trying to learn and study. And for the most part, this, this book agrees with me. And it's consistent with what I already thought and what I've already been using as a strategy. Some additional things that this book recommended that I haven't been doing, but I will start doing. One of them is flashcards, flashcards for retention, and spacing out my my study habits. Um, cramming is a theme in this book that the authors really suggest you don't do for you know truly grasping a concept and truly retaining it for later use. Um, you can cram and st- and be successful on an exam the next day, um, but you won't actually, you know, absorb the material studying that way. And so, yeah, this is, I got this book because it was popular, um, had great reviews. Um, I only checked it out from the library. I didn't, I didn't purchase it. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good book if we go to the contents. Um, we got learning is misunderstood. Um, yeah, some of the theme, another major theme in the book is that um, leaning, learning is supposed to be challenging. And, you know, you might have the illusion of mastery by if you're able to master easy problems. For example, if you're doing math problems and you're able to easily do like the a certain part of, um, let's say, trigonometry or linear algebra, and you just keep doing it over and over again, you have the illusion of that you've mastered the topic. But in reality, you won't be able to re- you know, retrieve that information um, later, you know, several months down the line, without actually challenging yourself. Learning is supposed to be difficult. It's not supposed to be easy, according to this book. And so by challenging yourself, you, you're building new connections in your brain, you're rewiring things. Um, they often re- reference plasticity, which is a scientific term in neuroscience. And so this book really is great with the data, with the research. Um, they have tons of endnotes. Um, they use examples, anecdotes. I don't love those, um, but it was a method deployed by the authors to really drive home the point. Mix up your practice. That's about... Um, you know, don't do it. Don't do. Don't study the same way over and over again. Quiz yourself. Test yourself. Challenge yourself again. That major theme of challenging challenges. Embrace difficulties. Um, I've already talked about avoid illusions of knowing. Get beyond learning styles. Um, increase your abilities and make it stick. And so, yeah, this is a good book. Um, I, you can read it in a few days. Um, I read it. It took me, um, I think, a morning, one morning and a couple evenings to read through it successfully. Um, although I do know, I already knew a lot of the information and I sort of skipped over the anecdotes. I'm just more of a research and data person. But overall... It's a good book. I understand why it's popular. I'm not sure maybe if somebody's an expert in learning development that they can leave in the comments if there's been any major paradigm shifts in learning and development since this was written, which was 2014. Um, Other than that, it's a good book. We'll see you in the next video.